What's up, gay straights and other days? It's Melia. I'm back with another episode of Disco Elysium. Last we left off, we made the very intelligent decision of fucking trying not to pay our bar tab and uh, almost killing us in the process. But hey, same shit, different days. So let's just get right back on into this. I think we're leading an investigation right now. So let's head on outside. Why can't I leave? I'm already not functioning already. What? No. Let, Let me, me out. out. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay. We got out. Why couldn't I do that before? Okay. Maybe pester the locals? Hello, human. The RCM in Martinez. Yep. What can I help you with? Let's get straight to the point. I have some questions for you. Of course. What can I help you with? Uh, we need... Direction. Of course. Where to? Uh, the corpse, please and thanks. Oh, that. That's right there. In the yard. Okay, cool. We've got that information now. Even all the way over here, there's a drop of death in the spring air. I don't believe in wasting time and idle prattle for the most part unless funny haha, -ha, so uh, that's all for now. Thank you, lady. That no was problem. very useful. All right, bye. Of course. I won't hold you back. Don't. Okay. I just asked you one question, chill, lady. If there's a corpse, then you're going to need those gloves for the autopsy. Oh. Give me the gloves. Sure. Keep them. I have another pair. That was easy. Okay, where is the body? Okay, there's a person over there. Don't want to deal. Oh. Can you just get it down? C can we just... The corpse it's not looks that high up. With bulging Ugh. white eyes. Gross. The face around them does not look human. It's swollen and ready to burst. His lips are fish-like, and his tongue like a ball gag in his mouth. I'm gonna gag. I didn't need to hear that. Okay. You seem to be holding your breath. Okay. No, we're to stay. Um, to look down. A cargo belt twists mm. his neck at an unnatural angle. Okay. The body below appears stiff. It's letting out an ungodly rot. The smell seeps in, even through your clenched nostrils. My imagination is doing a thing and I don't like it. God, what is it? Why is it so bad? Endurance. Legendary. Let go of your nose without throwing up. Well, that is the lowest chance I've ever seen in my life. So, uh, let, let's chill here, though, because I don't... I feel like we don't want to abandon this just yet. Activity K. It's okay to throw up with his arm. No one is judging. Yeah, I think you are, but okay. He's about to blow! Cop's gonna blow, Kuno! Where did Oliver Twist come from? I guess we'll turn away then, because I don't want to puke. Okay, there's there's a wild Oliver Twist. Um, well, you have a beanie, so I'm gonna guess it's you. I don't know if I really want to talk to you though. I guess we'll climb up then, because we gotta take it down. Okay, it's rickety but climbable. Okay, okay, climb it. Wouldn't hold the weight of a grown man. Th there would planks. I'm trying to figure out how to like take the body down. Oh, what's this? There are several buried. footprints in the mud, left oh. by work boots. Anywhere from six to twelve pairs have walked here. What kind of boots or visual ca- Ooh! Ooh, because we're thinkers, that's right. That's going to be very high. Let's get an exact count, then. Maybe more okay, than yes. twelve. No. Eight pairs of boots have shuffled back and forth in the mud. Uh, we could go over this. It could be important. Okay. One. Standard work boot. Steel reinforced toes. Number 46. I know this might seem tedious, but this is the only way I'm going to get my in-game character to remember this information and have it on hand for later. Two. Standard work boot. Steel reinforced toes. Number 44. Wait, they're numbered? Why? Three. Hobnailed work boot. Steel reinforced toes. Number 43. Four. Standard work boot. Number 45 or 46. Well, I don't know what those numbers mean in general. Which is it? You don't know. It's a miracle you can tell the prints apart as it is. The cold must have preserved them. Okay, we'll count a little more. Five. Another standard work boot. Steel reinforced toes. Number 44. Okay. Six. An aberration. Light as air. Even pace. Same make of boot, but number 41. Okay. Male or female? Well, I don't know what that matters, but then again, I'm not a detective, so male or female? Impossible to tell. Could also have been an adolescent. The gait is undeveloped. Jesus. Oh, pff. I'm pretty good at this, ain't I? I mean, I figured that. But... You're not bad. 
It's as nice. if the whole world darkens. Everything else has a thin film of unimportance on it, and the tracks burn in the middle of it in a strange, beautiful way. Huh. Welcome to the INTJ headspace. Seven. The glowing outline of a standard work boot. Number 46. But the imprints are twice as deep as the others. The weight exceeds 200 kilograms. I might not understand this, but this is legitimately interesting to me. Eight. And yet another standard work boot. Number 44. There's an aberration in the pattern of the soul, however. The right soul is smoother, more worn. How many? Uh, oh, you've been watching me. 400 million. Let's try to be helpful for once. Eight. I was pretty off then. I counted 20. Say, way off. Way. Yeah, he's been a prat. Why not? Way off. Way. Mm hmm. Okay, whatever. Perhaps it could be a driver. A driver would wear out the right shoe before the left. The accelerator is on the right. Interesting. If only I had come up with that idea. He doesn't seem to hear you. Looking south toward the traffic jam instead. Okay, fine. The machines are silent. The engines are all turned off. We should keep our eyes open around the traffic jam. See whether anyone strikes out as a potential suspect. Seems prudent, no? Yes, prudent, or I'm not sure we don't want to track. No, or we're meant to be investigating anyway. Yes, prudent. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we have a decent amount of information. I'm not going to remember all of it, but I'm going to trust my notebook, Will. I guess we have to talk to... This? No, I want to put that off as long as possible. Especially if we got Oliver Twist Jr. over here. What's this? Right in the... This trash what container the fuck? is locked. The sliding lid has a padlock that says, Whirling in rags. Yeah, sorry, trash container. Apparently that's talking to me. I was too distracted by fucking Oliver Twist over there telling Kuno to get something right in the dick, whatever a Kuno is. Anyway, why am I looking at you, trash container? You're just a trash container. The body is downwind from here. Maybe you prefer the smell of garbage to the smell of death. All right, let's dumpster dive. How do we get the lock open? We could try using a pry bar. There's one in my motor carriage, or... No, or, pry bar. <laughs> oh, no, or... Pry bar. No, or what? I don't want to walk all the way over there. Or we could ask for a key from the manager of the Whirling in Rags. He probably has one. I don't want to talk to him. He's being a prat. He might also have information. This is better than the pry bar idea. Ah, fine. We'll bother him later. Who's Kuno? And why do you keep mentioning him, them, her? Hello? Kuno's got this! Oh, you're Kuno. And you're throwing rocks at the body. Oi, that's not helpful. Knock it off. If there ever was such a thing as an ugly kid, then this is it. He's almost exquisite in his ugliness, like a gremlin. I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, Napa Kumpi Kuno. Okay, Oliver Twist is back. So that's Kuno. That's Kuness. What is with these names? Shouting seems to get through these idiots. A moment of your time, please. Can't talk, pig. Shit's coming up strong. Throwing rocks. I promise you the rocks will still be here when you come back. Shit coming up strong. That sounds good. What? Joyous. You should hang out with this kid and see what that juicy shit is all about. Juicy what now? I mean drugs. The kid's on drugs. Oh. That's bad. Okay. Yeah, Kuno, ride the lightning, Kuno! God. Kuno's riding it, see? I don't need to, to... I need to interview them, but God, I can't stand their voices. The rake, Kuno! Shut up. Oh, my God. You should throw the rake at him, Kuno! Why are you throwing rakes at me? The fuck? Does Kuno know what a rake is? Kuno's not a gardener. So we've stumbled upon Dumb and Dumber Cockney Edition. Great. Great. Kim, help! We... Oui. Shouldn't do anything. I don't tempt such forces. Uh, what forces? You will see. I will what now? The language these kids are using. Pure, unfettered id. There will be no reasoning with those creatures. I mean, I feel like I should try. Are you siblings? Okay, who cares? Uh, questions. All right. Entertain the Kuno. Uh, Show me what you got. What you got there? What you got, huh? Show me what you got. I don't wanna. 
I, I don't want to. I regret everything. The kid moves his hands like a basketball player dribbling fast. Okay, I don't give a fuck what Kuno is, because I know what Kuno is. It's that thing over there. I don't think the kids killed him. I, I really don't. I mean, they seem to be little shits. I don't think they're that kind of little shit. Uh, the body, what do you know about it? Shitload pig. What's your question? That was the question. Oh my god. Ugh. Don't tell the pig shit, Kuno. Oh my god, shut it, Oliver Twist. This is where you quickly ask him questions. Real cop questions. Like a cop. Oh my god, we're fucked. Do you know who he was? Kuno's fuck gimp. Eh? Kuno uses the fuck gimp for target practice. I don't know what a fuck gimp is, and I'm not gonna look it up to find out. He's trying to hide the fact that he doesn't know. Oh, okay. Thank you, drama. I feel like the little bitch is gonna take this one personally, so let's goad him a little bit. Kuno knows all kinds of shit. Kuno's not a snitch. That's all. It's okay. Trying to make the Kuno sing into the popo phone. The, the, the I don't want you to sing at all. Believe me, I would love to talk to anybody else. Do you know how it got up there? Probably climbed. Kuno was busy down the road when that shit went down. So you think it was suicide and you didn't see it happening? You heard Kuno. Kuno wasn't even in Martinez. Kuno wasn't in Revachol. Kuno wasn't regional. Why do I feel like this is going to be the start of some shitty metaphor? Okay, where did you go then? I don't know. Some fucking... Oh? You bullshitting me now? Mesk or... or I don't know. Some other place. Night City. Kuno was in fucking Night City. What the fuck is... I barely know what the normal places are. What do you mean Night City? There is no Night City anywhere. That sounds like the name of a city in some pulp science fiction novel. Okay, as much as I'd love to poke the bear, I don't think we really want to mess with this one too much. Because the first one's going to go to Mon. Where is it or about the dead body? No, where is it? Kuno gives this info out on a need-to-know basis. And you don't need to know. <sighs> Kuno didn't smoke the gimp, if that's what you meant. Sure, I know what that means. Thanks, Kuno. That's one name you can now cross off the list. Okay, we're gonna leave the city alone and bother Oliver Twist Kuno over there. Kuno doesn't fucking care. Neither do I. Shut up. Kuno, the pig's getting pretty close to me. Oh Come my god. Come snuff my shit out, I think. Take a step closer. Looks like it's time for me to go, Kuno. Pig's come to take me in. Uh, okay. Calm down. I don't want to be anywhere near you right now. I just need answers. I just want to ask you some fucking questions. I'm going away for a long, long time, Kuno. Going away for life. At this point, I wish you would. What's going on there? Fuck are you trying to pull, pig? Con child converse with me? No. No, 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 no. We gotta be loud and annoying just like them. You there, behind the fence. You don't want to fuck with me. I got my hands bloody. Uh -huh. I'm not here, pig. You're not seeing this. Yeah, that's not how that works, child. You can still see the top of her hat from behind the fence. Well, she hasn't moved so obviously. All right, I guess we'll go pry open the bin with the owner's shit. She's okay. As long as I don't have to talk to those kids again, because that, that was uncomfortable. G give me. Give me the pry bar. Hello. H select the owner. We're going to be here for a while. Is the trash container out back yours? Mine? No, it belongs to the whirling in rags. I forgot what that place was already. Thank you for clearing the up. Why do you keep the container locked? Why? To keep the hobos and drunks out. That's why. And the neighbors too. They put their trash there and they don't pay for the garbage company. Okay. I thought as much. And are you the only party with access to the trash container? Well, yes. Us and the garbage disposal company. Well, I mean, if it can be easily open with a pry bar, I doubt that's the case. It seems a little callous, doesn't it? Mm, Something yeah. stirs in you. I wonder what this feeling is. No, it doesn't. Nothing stirs in me, and it isn't callous, it's common sense. Yeah, no, we're not that smart. I wonder what this feeling is. Prod at him and find out. Oh, it's a hunch. What if I told you I am a hobo, or soon to be one, rummaging through that trash? Will you keep me out too? And let's get straight to the fucking point. What do you need them for? What do you think? It concerns the case. Please cooperate. Just bring them back once you're Thank done, you. please. Thank you. All right. That was easy. I thought that was going to be a lot harder. We're not going to waste our time with pointless drivel. Let's go to the bin again and hope the children leave us the fuck alone. Open says me. This trash container is locked. The sliding lid has a padlock that says, whirling in rags. I got that. Open the padlock. With a well-oiled crack, the lock pops open. It should now be possible to simply raise the lid. 
Thank you, Trash Container, for the advice. Don't. Maybe you shouldn't. What do you... What do you mean I shouldn't? I just unlocked it. Maybe you shouldn't. Of course you should. This is your time to shine, Hobo Cop. Dive into that dumpster for extra content. Woo, content! Open the lid. The smell of rotten food rises to greet you. Oh, you nice. You see soggy cartons, dirty rags, and organic waste. Okay, great. We're just in time. This hasn't been emptied for over a week. Okay, dig in Hobo Cop's self -reaction. We got it. We got it, come on. Wow, an armistice caliber 50 knock cannon. Half wrapped in paper tissues. So shiny. The fuck is a knock cannon? It's a giant rifle. Ooh. And it's very expensive. Not as expensive as that fat string of pearls snaking around the rotten banana peels. Yeah, 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 However, yeah. fuck the necklace, give me the gun. And is that a Cordon Electric's preamp with Electra F2 tubes? It is. That catches quite a price. We're talking 12,000. Easy. Unless you're into hi-fi yourself. We are so keeping that. That's, That's mine. That's too bad. Because none of those things are actually in there. Uh, There's just food waste and crisp wrappings. I got lied to by a trash cat. Let's look under the boxes. You see milk and egg rest with one broken egg in it. Some pasta wrapper. Picking up the soggy packages somehow feels familiar. Great, I hate that. You've done this before. The oh? movements are recorded in your elbows. The methodology in your fingers. You're used to this. Used to what? Dumpster diving or dive further? Let's dive further. A box falls into pieces in your hands. Batiste Sole cereal. There are plastic pasta packages below. And turbo noodles. Nothing of note, however. Okay, let's pick at the rags then. Among the threadbare kitchen towels, something catches your eye. A pair of denim trousers. Yeah, let's grab them. As the legs of the slime-covered jeans Ugh. begin to unspool from the garbage, a rank corpse smell fills the air. Those are dead man pants. The victim's clothes? Yep. Cadaverino door is faint. If these belong to the deceased, they were removed when he was still in the early stages of decay. Drop them in here, officer. I don't want to, but I guess so. Guitar mark, blue jeans. Oh? Pockets. Empty. Or empty. Tar, what? He wore them with a belt, too. A white belt. The loops appear stretched, but... Well, it... He's literally hanging from the same belt, so that makes sense. The belt is missing. That's it. Do it's right there. In there. I have another bag here. I don't know. Something slimy catches your eye. Reach for it or nope. No, we're reaching for it. We're committed. A drab, long-sleeved shirt, olive-colored, appears uh. from the food waste, dripping with pus. Ugh, 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 ugh. Okay, I guess I'm not eating today. This is God. a military type overgarment. No label or serial number. This is the kind of rib knit shirt that's worn over light armor to conceal it in an urban scenario. Anything more? Great, I'm glad that was useful. The rest of the rags are just kitchen variety waste. Just garbage. Okay, that's all, I think. Please stop talking to me about the corpse's clothes. All right, we should go to Gart again and ask if he knows who put the clothes in the trash. It could be as simple as someone from the hostel cleaning the yard. Or... That one. I'd advise against confronting that force. You think someone from the whirling might have been involved? Uh, no. Let, let's ask the kids. They're here anyway. Might as well get it over with. The fuck's he on about? Kids? Oh my you god. Who know? He thinks you're an infant or something. In relation to me, you are both children. God, I regret everything. See? Uh, I'm gonna search the food waste because it's literally the last thing we gotta do. It's just organic waste. Cold and slimy on your hands. Apple and potato pills, mostly. Unidentified sludge and the occasional chicken bone thrown in for good measure. But hey. But hey what? What's this? What? Elbows out, there's nothing more here. No, what? A blue piece of plastic sticks out from the apple pills. It's shiny. Looks like the corner of something. Okay, apparently I'm a bird. Pick it out. Something larger. Oh. A clipboard. A blue plastic clipboard with moist papers hanging from it. They look badly damaged, but you can still make out forms and notes written in a man's handwriting. Okay, good thing I kept digging. Officer, is that your paperwork? Wait, oh shit, mine? No, or I don't know what this is. Well, I don't know what this is. It is. Look, the huh? plastic has the RCM street grid on it. You've even got an autopsy form in there. Why? 
Okay, of course it would be in the bin. It's me, but what? What? If you don't mind me asking, how did this get in the trash? <laughs> Must have been cramping my style. It has a foreboding quality to it. Maybe I need to lose it for the quick. What? What is wrong with me? I think I didn't want to be a cop anymore, so I threw it away. That would be stupid, but also on brand. Someone from the whirling threw it in the trash? No, I don't know. I'm boring. Okay, we're not picking that answer. I'd rather not talk about it. Ah! Uh... We'll go with the first one. We need to have some fun here. Officer, this is an official piece of paperwork. It probably contains notes on numerous ongoing investigations and could even list undercover operatives, informants. I suggest integrating it into your style for all our sakes. Oh, I'm, so, I'm going to be so surprised if Kim doesn't murder me before this is over. We're going to leave the kids alone because I don't want to deal with them and uh, give the update. Oh, what's this? An inconspicuous pile of the roofing material etonite. What is this or perception? Why am I looking at this pile of roofing material? Let's do a check, why not? Because it's nice and oh. orderly. Well laid pallets. Easy on the eyes. Well, how was I supposed to pass it? Rhythmic that? pattern oh. calms your mind. Mammals like this stuff. It's alright, we'll leave it alone then. Alright, let's watch me fail to open a door now. Get open. Get open. Great. <laughs> I'm learning. But bother. Bother. I said bother. Okay, here's your fucking key. Thanks. I hope you found what you were looking for. Oh, yeah. I, I found, found the, the corpse's, corpse's clothes. clothes. How strange. I certainly didn't put them there. You know, I don't know if I really believe you at this point, but my suspicions are not that strong. Number three actually makes sense. Who else has keys to the trash container? The trash collection service, CS Municipal. I don't see why they would put anything in the trash, though. Hmm. Ah, the elusive CS Municipal. I doubt we'll be able to track down who was sent here last and when. This will have to be one of those little threats that solves itself down the road. Is that a clue for later? I think that's a clue for later, and I will definitely forget about it. Okay, what about your staff, though? <sighs> Sylvie had the keys before I got oh, here, I got Sylvie again, I okay. I can vouch for her. I can vouch for all my staff. None of us would tamper with the crime scene. Okay, what about something yes. else? Let's talk about the whirling a little bit. What? Thing. Saw a sign that I said I can't go into the kitchen. <laughs> yeah, why can't I go to the kitchen? What are you, a cook now? That's none of your business. Yeah, well, I've been taking this too seriously so far, so maybe I am a cook. You're not. You're a menace. Fine, yeah. okay. The kitchen is closed until 1 p.m. because the real cook is working. Um. You can snoop around after that. If you must. Okay, now what do I do? Okay, so we still have to investigate the clothes further, which means we have to talk to Kuno, which is gonna go so well, which means we're gonna be running back and forth again. I'm efficient. I know what I'm doing. You're testing Kuno's patience here. Yeah. I don't care, Kuno. Shut the fuck up. Get lost, f And there's a slur again. Thanks. Right, pig. This is where Kuno plays with his little wooden choo-choo. What do you want with it? I hated that sentence. The ladder, what's in the greenhouse, there's a stack of Eternite. Hmm. Maybe we lure him? May maybe we fucking bait the boys so that we can break into places? That's just some shit roofing gimps left behind, lazy dinks. Okay, it didn't work, never mind. He's hiding something. Oh, you hiding something? Pig, if Kuno was hiding something, it would be hidden. Uh-huh. But it is not hidden, is it, sire? You picked up on it. You should examine you the pile sire? of the hell? material again. Okay, and the perception check changed. Okay, let's look at it again. Because there's a secret door hidden behind the panels of Etonite. That's why they're too orderly. Oh, okay, let's pull them aside. There it is. You see a shabby little door. Oh, nice. Okay, cool. That's cool that it shifts like that. But way to announce that you found the secret hideout. Okay. What is this, Dan? A tool shed? Let's investigate. All right. Let's fucking go. Eh. Open. Yes. Need to do something behind the... Wait. Uh, that went by too fast. Okay, I'm allowed to sneak around my fucking partner? Cool. Good to know. All right, let's poke around the shed. Why is it eerie in here? Oh, it's over here. No, let me in. Huh. So the little shit was hiding something. Wait, did I leave? No, this is the roof. And there's a 
code up there? I- I'm broken, apparently. Where- where am I going? Where the fuck am I going? What? Oh, I'm- I'm following a- a path. Oh. Okay. <laughs> cool, it's doing this for me. I'm not moving anything. Looks like someone left this tarpaulin cloak hanging on the railing here. Why did you need to walk all the way that way to do that? When the wind ruffles the cloak, you can most definitely see a white rectangle on its back. You son of a gun, it's a cop's cloak. Apparently that's what those rectangles yes, mean. Yes, it's probably yours. It bears the RCM insignia. Oh, what? And you have a habit of being careless with your equipment. Oh my god. You could probably make the jump. You look like you've done some track and field in your day. No, I don't. Oh, this is very risky. But I, I kind of want to see. Let's go. Fucking go. Fucking go. I want the cloak. It looks pretty. Go for it. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. No, no. That's <laughs> still too high. What were you thinking? You're not a gymnast. You're a boxer. And you've climbed but, way but too But it would have been cool. There. It would have been cool. Heal myself? Why do I have to heal myself? For what? Yeah, I'm depressed now. What else is new? Uh. Um. Uh, okay, this might Despair be a problem. Creeps into you. Getting fat on your weakness. This could be a problem. Whatever noble intentions you once had as a police officer, it's eaten them all up now. I was never noble to begin with, but okay. You're still coming up with sentences. That's a step up from total annihilation, right? I'm seriously running out of shits to give what corpses hang on trees and quitting fuck you. I've wasted my life. Done, no one likes cops. I wish I was fucking dead. Okay, maybe longer sentences are better? Fuck me? Oh. Please leave the rage you have for after we finish the investigation. Okay, I said that out loud. Nothing you can say would make you feel any better now. Huh? Cop gives up the detective genre for social realism. Another police officer resigned from the RCM following a nervous breakdown. He now lives under a bridge, drinking and occasionally throwing excrement at passers-by, shouting, I never loved that woman. Did I have an asked ending? to comment, former colleagues objected to the theory that his psychological disintegration was precipitated by his wife leaving him. It's because the furrows lost that match, said Captain Ptolemy Price, once the man's superior officer. It's because he couldn't get a big gun from acquisitions and, anyway, police work really burns you out after a while, satellite officer Jean Vitmer the deranged former cop's partner, commented. Sergeant Mac Torson, another former colleague, did not propose any theories, merely saying, whatever happened to him wasn't about birds. He got fucked, that's all. Okay, I hit an ending on accident. Cool. Okay, I've learned my lesson, I guess. Oh! Okay, so uh, maybe don't attempt the impossible like that ever again. Where's this gonna lead me if I load up again? So that's gonna dump me where I was last, which means I'm gonna need to load up all that shit with discovering the hideout again. Okay, well, I've been recording for a while, so I'm gonna save that bit for next time and probably do it properly because, God, that was bad. <laughs> I didn't know it was gonna happen, okay? I didn't mean to hit an ending. But uh, we'll try to do this right next time. So thank you so much, whoever else is watching this. Like, comment, subscribe. It really does help me out. Until next time. Bye.